Hello, my gorgeous friends. Um, I am here um, to, I thought, what am I going to give you a wee post about? Because I know there's always stuff I need to elaborate, elaborate on. Um, our wonderful Claire is having an elective caesarean on Tuesday. Um, and I thought I would do a little um, video on caesarean birth. Now you'll see the title of this, I've put caesarean birth or caesarean section. I do not want to hear you saying the word caesarean section, okay? because it is a birth like any other. And now Claire is having an elective caesarean. Some of you, for whatever reason, may have previously had a caesarean and you will be able to tell people that it's possible to have a very magical caesarean. But some of you who are planning a normal birth, we need to focus, you've heard me say before, you need to focus on the birth you want, but be prepared for anything. And that means that if you end up needing a caesarean birth, we're gonna accept that. And that might not be what planned, but you're going to make it magical and you're going to make it peaceful. So a bit of a recap for Claire on what she's going to do on Tuesday and a reminder for you. And basically, it's exactly the same. I have people who come on my workshops who are booking for elective caesareans from the beginning. Okay? Elective caesarean birth. So it doesn't actually matter how, what, where, what the circumstances, you do exactly the same, Claire. And all of you, if you end up having an elective caesarean or an emergency caesarean, okay? Now, Claire has a personalized cesarean track that we did specifically. So Claire, you're going to keep listening to that. You need to work out what your blocks are, work out what your fears are and rewrite an affirmation about that. So I hope you're practicing on them. And then whatever your one word affirmation is, so I know Claire's got some, but all of you will have that. You do exactly the same. As you go into that theater, you're repeating your one word affirmation or you're repeating your affirmations. You're doing your breathing, you're taking slow breath in, longer, slower breath out. Now, in a way, in a funny kind of a way, in a theater, it can be very easy to do your baobab tree type environment because you're lying down and you've got a, a, a cloth and um, a drape in front of you. And then you'll have, for some of you, <laughs> Claire is going to be, oh, we notification. Claire, um, because of the country that she's in, because she's not in the UK, she's going to be there by herself without her birth partner, but who she's going to have with her is her anaesthetist beside her, okay? So if you're in the UK, you may have your birth partner with you, or may not. Um, you're going to create with this drape, this little bubble, okay? You can close your eyes, so you're creating the darkness. I would recommend all of you to ask to either bring in a speaker or blue tube music to the speaker of theater, ask them to put music on, okay? So we're creating that quiet through the music that's on. You could bring in headphones, you've got the screen, you've got the darkness, you've got the privacy actually anyway with Caesarean because you've got this little drape around you, okay? And it's gonna be warm. Word of warning, don't look up unless you want to see what's going on because there's um, normally big lights that you can see your reflection. So, Claire, you are so ready for this. Keep rehearsing the track that we recorded for you. Go in, use your affirmations, use your one word affirmation, do your breathing. All you need to do is relax and breathe and nothing else. Literally, you can do that right now. <sighs> Don't forget that. And you are so utterly prepared. Any of you, if you end up having a cesarean birth, you absolutely just bring it through. And the most important thing is this baby is born peacefully and that you're calm and relaxed. And you cannot always control what's going on around you, but you can control your breath. It's the only thing actually in life that we can control. And you can then continue to use that in all circumstances. You can also think about your SOS, your emotional emergency buzzer. So you can be, um, you could communicate that. So I know Claire, we talked about, you could let the anesthetist know that if you did feel panicky or you did want to say something, you could have something you do like tapping your hand or something. So again, if you've got your birth partner there for the rest of you ladies, you can, Make sure your birth partner is there and aware that you might do that if you need some extra support as well. Um, you can share with your birth partner um, remind they can still be doing their special touch. They can still be doing the breathing. And for you, Claire, your birth partner is not going to be there. So again, we talked about, you know, you could have triggers communicating with a team ar around you as well. Um, so really, I don't know if I'm saying that much, but all I want you to know is two things is that cesarean birth is still a birth. Yeah, and some of the most beautiful healing really blow my mind births. In fact, one of the most beautiful births I've ever been at was a elective cesarean last year of a mum who had extreme tocophobia, so fear of childbirth. And it was 
flow your mind beautiful and I have seen many a time physiological birth being transformative to the point of literally changing everyone's the part the woman's soul energy the whole thing and what last year showed me was that can happen with the cesarean birth as well it was incredible and this mum has gone on is a different person totally transformed totally empowered so some of you might need a cesarean birth and that's okay peaceful birth your ability that i know you all have to to handle those changes in plans and um, anyway claire i'm going to be with you all of us mamas will be with you on tuesday i believe in you all you need to do is relax and breathe you're so prepared keep saying your one word affirmation keep focusing on that baby in your hands as that last moment and if you've got any questions, you know where I am. Anyway, you're ready for Tuesday and all of you are ready for all situations that birth may throw at you. And therefore, if you're watching this and you've already had your baby, remember that all the techniques, your affirmations, your breathing, keep using them for life, your ability to decide on what you want and keep focusing on it and rehearsing it can create pretty much anything. Okay, bye.